And President Biden is headed to Asia for visits to South Korea and Japan. But first, he met with leaders of both Finland and Sweden who are both concerned about Russian aggression. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. President Biden welcomed the Prime Minister of Sweden and the President of Finland in the Rose Garden one day after the countries applied for NATO membership. They meet every NATO requirement and then some. And having two new NATO members in the high north will enhance the security of our alliance and deepen our security cooperation across the board. Sweden, along with Finland, which shares an 800-mile border with Russia, are both seeking to join the alliance because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. That was a watershed moment for Sweden. And my government has come to the, to the conclusion that the security of the Swedish people will be best protected within the NATO alliance. The countries are seeking fast-track approval, but Turkey's president repeated his opposition today. Joining NATO takes unanimous approval from all current members. President Biden is expected to quickly sign a new $40 billion military, economic and humanitarian aid package for Ukraine after the Senate passed the bill today. Yeas are 86, the nays are 11, and the bill is passed. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Mr. Paul, no. Put a hold on the legislation, saying there should be an inspector general to oversee the spending. Anyone concerned about the cost of supporting a Ukrainian victory should consider the much larger cost should Ukraine lose. Wednesday night, the Senate unanimously confirmed the new U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Bridget Brink, filling a three-year vacancy. The same evening, the U.S. once again raised its flag at the embassy in Kyiv. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.